What's going on everybody, Cole Carter's here today bringing y'all a Clash Mini video and in today's video we're going to be going over the newest feature coming to Clash Mini and that is going to be Expeditions. Reminder, anything you see in this video is subject to change as this is the developer build but we're going to be showcasing the newest feature to Clash Mini and I'm going to give my uh, feedback on it. So if you can see in the bottom right hand side there is a Barbarian King there. If you click it, it pops up this uh, path that you can take so you can see there's a bunch of different levels you can see up top that there is a beginner so this is what the ppe levels are so it'll say intro spears are powerful but you can dodge them you get progress for completing challenges and you also get rewards for completing the challenges so we're going to kick off this first level and then this is almost going to be like the first episode of like how to beat the ppe levels um so we're just gonna stick with this we're gonna roll through i'm gonna showcase it to you guys but i strongly suggest you try to figure them out on your own the content that i'm going to be putting out there is if you are stuck or if you have already beaten them and you just like my content make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell so what we're going to be doing is <clears throat> excuse me let's pull out the rogos here and i think we're just gonna make this invisible so if you can see in the top right there is a leave button so if you're like, eh, 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 whatever, I don't like this, you can do that. You have a long time because it wants you to like get familiar with the game and everything like that. So, and then as you can see in the bottom, it says click ready to start the battle. So we're going to click ready because we're ready to start the battle. Once the battle is readied up, the spear goblins will do their thing. And then you will be able to go through the level as normal. So I think this is going to be a great way to introduce... Um, new strategies and new understanding for players who are able to uh, and as you can see on screen you get two extra rerolls and then the six elixir back so so right here there's four spear goblins now so of course each level will get a little bit harder so what we want to do is let's roll with this we're gonna go over right here we're gonna, we are gonna take damage um that's okay so we're gonna hit that ready up button and we are good to go so we'll take damage um from that spear goblin and then we're just gonna roll through everyone's gonna focus onto the ice wizard temporarily and then we're gonna shift things into gear and take down the spear goblins then on the third level of course there's gonna be five or four spear goblins and a jeff nope that is actually a trunk it's not a jeff i like shift things over here let's do this and then i'm actually going to spell the ice wizard and let's make our magic archer invisible now everybody's invisible and we will only take spear goblin damage onto the royal ghost and we'll be able to wrap this level up excuse me <clears throat> what is going on with my throat today i need some more water or something but We'll be able to wrap this level up nicely, nice and easy, right there. So, once you beat the level, just exit out, and you can claim the rewards. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, there's something that says challenge, so we're going to claim our rewards. We get the uh, carrot, we get the coins, and we get the Spear Goblin Fragment, which, for me, this will convert into a crystal coin so then you unlock the next level night is very tough um so it just introduces the night but you can see now there are three check marks below the spear goblin once you beat it you can actually go back uh, this is the level we completed there's a little challenge tab and you get rewards for completing the challenge for that specific level as well so you have to do all of these not at once you can do them like if you only get two out of three you can go back and do that third one and focus on that third quest so win a battle 3-0 ko five enemies with your hero less than three of your minis get ko'd so you'll be able to go through do that level and everything like that now we're going to showcase for just to give an overview of like what all of the challenges will look like and what kind of rewards you can expect to get from these pve expedition levels all right so as you can see we have all of the challenges now unlocked. You can get a bunch of different rewards. It looks like you mainly get um, pony fuel coins and then fragments, which on the hero levels, you get hero fragments. On other levels, you get certain mini fragments. 
And then same thing once you go up to veteran. Of course, it's going to get a little harder. Looks like the same rewards pretty much throughout. Um, but it's just very fun challenges. But keep in mind, again, once you defeat a level, there are also challenge rewards that you get. So let's take a look at one of the challenge rewards from Chapter 2. As you can see right here, go through. Challenge reward is different for this. If we go to veteran, and look at the challenge reward on this one. You get gems. So we do that. You get the uh, pony fuel uh, coins and then the fragments. And then on this, you get the gems and the fragments as well. So that is going to do it for the PVE levels. Now, let me know what you think of PVE down in the comments section below. But honestly, I think this is going to be a great way to get new players on board to the game, understand the game better. There's also, I'm not going to show them all in this video, but there's a bunch of different things that you get from completing it. So, uh, up to one. Um, you can see right here in this challenge. Once you go in with challenges, it also shows you what the challenges are in the top left. But if you look on screen here, there is an elixir collector. You can break it and gain two elixir from it. So there's a bunch of fun different things um, that you're able to play for and get through the challenge. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be very interesting for new players and veteran players to kind of have something challenging. For you to work towards you can see right there we get two more elixir in the next round because we did break that um did break that elixir collector and as you can see they did start off with level two units um which does make the first round a little bit more difficult so you are going to have to be very strategic with how you play things and you can see right there we only gained two elixir because we're on a harder difficulty so just keep that in mind when you're playing through these challenges but that's going to do it for this video i hope you all enjoyed again let me know what you think of the pve levels down in the comment section below but make sure you leave a like subscribe for more content and don't forget to turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos and i'll talk to y'all in the next one have a great day everybody we'll see you later peace out